All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Box Away. Let's talk about another fight that's going on this weekend. A fight that no one really seems to be talking about on YouTube. Uh, we got a championship fight at Super Featherweight. Miguel Burchell will be defending his 130 WBC title against Jason Sosa this weekend on ESPN. So if you don't have the zone, everybody's talking about Canelo and Kovalev, including myself. I've made a couple videos already. Um... But this is a very, very good fight. And if you're not on the zone and you're not subscribed to the app or you just, you know, can't afford it or whatever, check this fight out. You know, this will be on ESPN and um, it's a very, very good matchup. Okay. Um, Miguel Burchelt has been holding it down at 130. I know everybody talks about Tank Davis, who was just there. Um, you know, everybody talks about him and Tevin Farmer and everybody was talking about Lomachenko when he was down there but this is a very very good fight a lot of fights at 130 don't really get talked about that much and this is a very good fight so listen you know i'm gonna do a quick video on it um the way i see it is i think this fight is very intriguing because you have miguel burchell who's fought so many guys at 130 right he's fought a lot of guys he fought uh vargas twice he's fought francisco vargas two times all right beat him both times all right um, he fought Miguel Roman, he's fought, uh, Miura, you know, uh, Takashi Miura, uh, he's fought a lot of the top bangers at 130, like these, all these guys did was fight each other, and he's beaten all three of those guys, all right, um, and he's been holding it down, he's been, he's the best champion at 130, he's the most proven champion at 130, you have other champs at 130, but this guy is the most proven at 130. Okay, and um, he's fighting Jason Sosa, a guy that is, is, is not quite like those other three I just named. Okay, um, this guy has been in some tough fights. He uh, had a tough fight with uh, Yuri Okis Gamboa in a fight that I actually had Jason Sosa win it. I thought uh, Gamboa lost that fight. Okay, and I'm a huge Gamboa fight, uh, fan, and I, I thought Gamboa lost. You know, it was just too much holding. I thought... Uh, Sosa was controlling that fight, okay? Uh, close fight, though. Then you had another close fight with Nicholas Walters back in the day, all right? Uh, that's the first time I actually saw Jason Sosa. Uh, I thought Jason Sosa was, uh, I, I think he lost the fight, but, you know, a lot of YouTubers at the time was screaming robbery. I didn't, I don't remember watching the fight too well, but I do remember it being a lot closer than what the majority people were saying you know they scored it a draw uh the judges scored it a draw that night but i thought it was a very very close fight you know and um jason sosa is just you know he had a tough fight with lomachenko uh lomachenko won the fight ended up stopping him at some point or i think Joseph jason sosa might have retired in this corner i can't remember but it wasn't loma's easiest fight you know it wasn't loma's most difficult fight, but it wasn't an easy fight for Lomachenko at 130. All right, so Jason Sosa's been in there with some good fighters. I think he's a, a talented boxer. You know, he's he comes to fight. He can bang it out. He can bang it out and trade, but he's a pretty crafty boxer. All right, I don't think he's the easy fight for anyone. Okay, um, so the way I see it, and I think this fight is very hard to call because what I was saying before. Jason Sosa doesn't really fight like these other guys, you know. Um, you're, uh, you know, guys like Roman and, and Vargas. These guys will bang it out and trade it. And, and they're tough dudes that have great chins that like to go to war, okay. Jason Sosa can fight that way. But I can see Jason Sosa in there trying to slip and counter some of these shots. Burchell can obviously he can actually get caught into that, you know. Burchell is a, a high volume puncher. Um, he throws a lot of combinations, all right. But he can switch it up. He can adjust. He can use his legs and, and move laterally and fight on his back foot, all right. But he doesn't have the greatest defense, okay. And I feel like I, I I'm picking Burchell to win because of what he's done at 130 that's who i'm going with you know but don't be surprised if jason sosa catches him with a shot and actually ends up hurting him or in or end up winning possibly you know i mean if it's gonna go to the cards 
I'm picking Burchell because I just think overall his body of work is a lot better than Jason Sosa's. And, you know, I, cause I've i seen him watch. I've watched him fight 12 rounds and go a full 12 rounds throwing hands, you know, nonstop. But I also see a possibility of Jason Sosa countering him with a, like a chef, check left hook and hurting Burchell and, and, and pulling off an upset. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, because Jason Sosa is not going to sit there and try to go to war. All right, he's going to use some defense and he's going to try to slip and counter. You know, that's what he's about. You know, he can hold his own and trade, but he's not going to sit there and go round by round by round trying to trade with Burchell. But he has to be careful because Burchell comes, comes to fight. You know, he can punch um, and he throws a lot of punches and he's a good boxer himself. So I have Burchell winning this fight. I think it's a very, very good matchup. Um, so if you guys are not tuning in and watching, I don't know how I'm going to watch both fights because I will be live Saturday. I will be doing, uh, I'll be on YouTube uh, analyzing the uh, Canelo card live. All right. Might even have my dad with me. So we'll see. But this is a great fight and it's a shame that no one's really talking about it. But I get it. I am a YouTuber myself. I understand a lot of channels don't want to do videos on fights that's not really going to get views and stuff. I know it sucks, but I'm doing my best to make awareness of the smaller fights too every week. All right, so um, very, very good fight. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know who you guys think is going to win this fight. I got Burchell, but wouldn't be shocked if Sosa was able to clip him and pull off an upset. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.